Hey guys, Retro Badger here with a new ship. This is called the USS Altaloon and is a Sovereign Mark II model. The model was originally created by somebody called Cyanide and Hexagonal Nexel has asked for permission to rework the hardpoints. So let's commence testing. Well, I thought a good first test would be against the original Sovereign class. Makes logical sense. Oh gosh, okay. Now what I like about this ship is the shields will automatically centralize. So it automatically redirects power. Which is really cool. Bottom shield is draining, sir. We're already damaging the armor. Oh gosh, yep, yeah, look at that! Wow. That is certainly progress. It makes you wonder if they built around an old Sovereign class to make this, like they did with the Titan, where they transferred everything from the... Well, they transferred bits from the Titan, didn't they? The original to the Titan A. Would it be a similar thing? I like to think so. Wow, look at this! Absolutely epic! Whose fault was it this time? Wolf? Wow. Okay, I've got another idea. Well, the next test has to be a Dominion Strike Force. So, we've got the small Jem'Hadar fighters and we've got a Dominion battle cruiser. Let's see how we do against one of these. Right, that's uh, critical damage already. Increase power to the shields. Now we're also equipped with phased plasma torpedoes. Wow, that Dominion Battle Cruiser's in trouble. I want to see what these torpedoes do. I'm also going to test the multi-targeting capability in a moment. Right, torpedoes are loaded. Oh, the aft, okay. Here we go. So we only have 10 of those, so they must be good. Yep, there we go. Bye-bye Dominion Battle Cruiser. Okay, let's try the multi-targeting. Oh, yes, look at that! Wow, okay. Let's increase power to the sensors, then we'll actually hit them. Yep, there we go. Look at that! That is a lot of phaser arrays. Are phasers more environmentally friendly? The top shield has <laughs> wow. Okay, well. That's incredible. Wow, we just completely crushed that Dominion Battle Force. So yeah, this mod is absolutely epic. I would highly recommend you download it and add it to your Kobayashi Maru install. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.